Lots of unique food products, and we have several of them here with us today. Take a look. We have big sunflower and pumpkin seeds. We have gluten-free explorer with some of these delicious pizza crust. And then we have Roland Green's millet tots as an alternative to your basic tater tots. So thank you everyone for being here today. Justin, let's start with you. So what I noticed is that you guys have these really interesting flavors and lots of variety. We definitely do. Yeah, Biggs has been around now for going on seven years. Uh, the brand is just doing remarkably well. We really pride ourselves on having a lot of these great iconic flavors within our food. So uh, co-brands like Vlasic for our dill pickle or Hidden Valley Ranch that makes it the flavor of our great Hidden Valley Ranch seeds uh, is, a, is a winner for us. Okay, well, we have some tasters over here. What do you guys think? I got the... Uh, mm. The sea salt. I miss the chewing, spitting part. Yeah. <laughs> the baseball. Yeah. So you have some that are uh, if you're just hungry, the kernel. The full. Oh yeah. That's right. The <laughs> full meal. Hungry. That's why they full call them bigs. <laughs> <That's> big. <right. laughs> Beautiful. And we have just the seeds, which I like. You know, just get down to the business part. Yeah, I have wasabi, wasabi, which are wasabi, delicious. Yeah. Glad I just like them. Mm. Okay, I'm gonna have to try some of those later. I want to try the Vlasic one. I feel like an outfielder. Sounds interesting. Or a relief pitcher. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, all right. Thanks so much. Where can people find these? You bet. Uh, look for them at, at Walmart, uh, Loaf and Jug, King Supers here uh, in Colorado, in, in quite a few of the locations. Oh, congratulations! Good for you. All right. So we also have Victoria here talking about gluten-free Explorer, and look at these beautiful pizza crusts. So they're gluten-free, dairy-free. Tell us about who would want to purchase one of these. Well, anybody who's living a gluten-free lifestyle is probably encountered the cardboard pizza crust that you find now in the gluten-free frozen section. I did. Couldn't take it anymore. I said, you know what? I'm going to make my own. And that is what I've done. I remembered pizza having a chew to it, being crispy on the outside and chewy on the inside, and actually tasting like bread. That's what I remembered. That is what I've created here. We have two types of pizza. We have a round hand-tossed, and we also have a deep dish, which is the only deep dish gluten-free pizza on the market. And I've made, we have three different types. I have a dairy and gluten-free uh, ranch bacon chicken, and we have a, th this one has cheese, that one has cheese. So we have a Italian sausage, and then we have a pepperoni. So you guys are going to really enjoy pizza this morning. Well, I say, now I feel like a starting pitcher, having been knocked out of the game. <laughs> just sitting in the third inning in the clubhouse having some pizza. Yeah, look how the very good. Very, the crust, as you say, works very good. Yeah, look how thick that is. I would never know the difference. That's what we're going for. That's hey! Delicious. Yeah. All right, I know you guys also make baguettes and sandwich and bread do. as well. And we're available at Vitamin Cottage, Natural Grocers, Alfalfa's Lucky's Market. We're in 10 restaurants in Denver, including Sylvie's Kitchen in Arvada and Denver. All right, good for you. All right, now Lindsay is here Hi. from Roland Greens, and yeah. you have millet tot. So this is an alternative to the basic tater tot it that is. we all know from childhood. Tell us about your product. Yeah, so um, we've been a food truck for the past five years, Roland Greens, and a staple at the Boulder Farmer's Market. And we just recently launched our millet tots. So they're our version of tater tots, but made with organic millet, a whole grain. They're vegan, gluten-free, high in protein, fiber. Um, we, we sell them in the frozen food section. You just throw them in the oven, bake 375 for 15 minutes, and just a healthier alternative to potatoes. I did not know much about millet, but uh, I was reading up on it this morning. It's supposed to be a very, very healthy option. So what do you guys think? I think it's pretty good. It's, yeah, yeah, it's good. Yeah, crispy I mean, on the outside, soft on the mm -hmm. inside. Yeah. Yeah. I like it. Does it taste like the potato tater tots? No, it does <laughs> taste like a potato, but it does taste like a nice fried yeah. tot. And because I love, I grew up on millet. Okay. <laughs> oh, really? No, I didn't. But it's, it, it's very good. I do like it. I have to say I was hesitant, but I would eat these. Mm -hmm. Great. Very good. And a lot of people don't want the potatoes. Exactly. Yeah. Um, yeah. And we sell them in uh, Whole Foods. We just got into the Rocky Mountain region, so we're in five states, and um, just a healthier alternative. Great for kids and parents. They can eat together. All right, thanks yeah. so much for coming in, you no guys. Problem. We appreciate it. For more information about all of these wonderful Colorado products, check our website, kwgn.com. Looks like we'll have some leftovers there. <laughs> oh, man, I could watch you eat millet tots for hours. Love it. How about this? I'm all alone over here, the only guy with